Hello people, I'm going to show you how to make this, like, wah, this. Um, well not the bracelet part, that's kind of just self-explanatory. Um, yeah, I, I do these, like, okay, what it is is like, you just take a water bottle cap, and um, you just cut it. Like, see where the circle thing is in there? Sorry there's crap stuck in this one, because I just kind of stockpile them so I can do this. Um, okay, what you're gonna, all I do is I cut the thing out and I paint it with nail polish and you can stick a picture in it or you can just paint. So I'm gonna show how to do that. It's all easy and crap and I just, you know, came up with this idea and I like stuck it on my candy and I love it. So here we go. Um, first thing is you're gonna need the cap. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take your scissors and you're just gonna stick it it's gonna be in between the thingy thing in there. And then you just cut. <clears throat> and you're gonna do this a few times, like around the thing. As many times as you want. You can make them big, small, just whatever. Sometimes they're a little hard to cut, but not always. And you just bend these back, like after you cut them out and whatnot. So you can be big, small, whatever. And then you're just gonna take the things. You're just gonna cut around it and then start getting this, your circle. Of course it's all edged weird but you just, just trim it out. You can trim it out as you go just wait till the end. I like to often wait till the end but you can get you know but uh, you're starting to see it just gets you know all the crap off of it but you're gonna keep this little lip that's on the inside there. And what you're gonna do later is gonna stick a hole through it on each end, you know, to each other. And then you're gonna put it through onto something. Because you can put this on stuff. Sorry, my face itched. Happens. Anyways though, um, <clears throat> so what you're gonna do is you're gonna cut it out and then you're gonna get something like this type of thing. This isn't really as round as I like it. See, it has some out edges still. But it's still pretty round, and I mean, like, I uh, file down with a nail file a little bit. It's really hard to do, so you might want to just cut more than that. Um, so then what you do is you're going to take nail polish. It depends what you want to do. For instance, for the Dead Mouse one, I did the, uh, it's just, you know, white. That's all I do, just paint it white. Um, you're going to paint it. It's gonna look like this. Of course, you can do like you know background color things, um, like, and then at this point, once you have a background color of any kind, um, there's two things you can do. You can put different pretty pictures on there, but you don't really have to do that. Like I painted a lot of them, um, like the thing like that, yeah. And then um, this one's kind of hexagonish think. I don't know. I didn't count the sides, so don't bother me. Uh, that thing. So you can paint. I use, you know, just nail polish decal crowd. Um, yeah. So anything you want to do at that point, you can paint it in any color. Like, you know, I just have, I always have nail polish laying around. I just always do. I constantly paint my nails. So, um, you know, I just took it <clears throat> and you're going to paint it. And I'm not going to show you, you know, the painting of it. I mean, if you really wanted to see the painting, I guess, well, sorry, because, you know, you just paint it on there, and uh, it might take a few coats, you know, to get it thick enough. In my case, I actually have a printout that's of the exact size, so I'm not going to be, for the white one anyway, <laughs> I won't be um, putting more coats on. Some of these I've already had colored, and I'm just going to stick one of my pictures on them. Uh, so I'm going to start with I'm making one for, here, I don't know if it'll show up, it's so tiny. Feed me. Yeah, little feed me monster. And then, um, for this one, I'm, I left on the edges because I thought it looked really cool. And I'm going to stick on the coyote kisses. Yeah. Heck yeah. Ah, I love making my own little things like this. I thought I dropped it. And of course, I mean, if you want, like... A dead mouse of any kind. He's kind of hard to see because he's dark. You might be able to see him because it's black and purple. 
And uh, he's kind of, I don't know if I'll use him. He's a little dark. Can't really see his mouth because the purple's so light. Not light, dark, duh. Um, but yeah, so yeah. We're probably not going to show him in a tutorial. He's not going to come out perfect. <clears throat> um, now what you're going to do, what I'm going to do, I'm going to start with the feed me one. Just take the thing. Thing. I'm going to take clear nail polish. I'm using Sally Hansen. You don't have to. It's. It, it, I wouldn't advise any expensive nail polish. I mean, you're sticking this on a thing. It's like a glue. Because and and I'm warning you now. You're probably like, oh my gosh, that that's gonna bleed. How did how did this not bleed? This is way darker than it was originally. It is gonna seep through a little, and it is gonna darken. So I mean, you know, if it's gonna be a lighter color, that's cool. <clears throat> I've not actually had it bleed. You just have to make sure everything's entirely dry before you add another coat, and you have to make sure it is entirely dry underneath the sticker before you put anything over it. Um, also, once you put the first coat on, um, do it as evenly as you can. And then it should be pretty much fine when it dries the first time. And you can put, like, there's freaking five coats on here. So you don't have to do that many. I'm a perfectionist. Anywho. So take the clear nail polish. And then I'm going to take this thing. We're just going to make sure to get a ton of nail polish. Okay, well, not in a ton, but you know, like covering enough. And then, you know, once you get it on there, you can always like smooth it out really quickly and get extra excess off. Because you want it to stick, but you'll be adding more, so I mean it should stick fine. I've never had the paint come off of any of these. Um, I'm just going to stick that where you think it'll fit. And now... Okay. You push it down. Try to push it down as much as you can into the glue. Alright. Uh, I'm trying to sit it down. Oh, <laughs> Nail polish on the computer. Sorry. <clears throat> Anyways though. Um, so at this point, you know, you're gonna let that one dry. We're gonna I'm gonna go ahead and do my coyote kisses one now. And uh you see here was what I suggest when one that is not going to cover the whole thing is just you know take your center thing you're gonna see that dot you're just gonna start putting it on right there in that area so you know it doesn't have to be perfect you just want it to stick try to make it round because this whole charm's not gonna be filled up because it's bigger because it's in the picture because um, I made it like that I wanted to see how it would go. I just print the pictures out on the computer. It's normal paper. No photo paper or anything like that. Just normal paper. Okay. And now I'm going to take the coyote kisses thing. And I'm, I can't show you because I have to center this correctly. But I just, I just press it in on there and squish it down. That's why you don't need much because when you press it on, and all the excess. It's good. It looks like this. It looks pretty cool. Well, actually, we will tilt it down. Like Alright. Uh, so, there you go. Um, well, what you would do next is that you're going to actually take the thing and you're going to actually just put the nail polish over it. I can't show you that because it's not dry underneath. That will all but guarantee everything will slip around and be messed up. So, I mean, I don't really want to show much past this. I'm not good with videos. I'm learning this, so I just thought I'd throw this out here because, I mean, it's self-explanatory and you do whatever. I will show you how I do the, just the holes in it. Okay, so this isn't, actually, let's see one, yeah, this one's painted already. So this is my crazy electrolyte It's actually hard to see. There you go. Yeah, my lights are at either end of the thing. What you're going to do is you're going to take figure out where you want the pin to be because it's going to go sideways. I mean you can make it like a double thing and then bring it through for a necklace but I've actually never done that. I just so far have done this to bracelets. Um, and you know you can personalize the stuff, make it cool. And as I said, pictures. That's what I've been doing lately. Um, because it's like, you know, you can't buy a bracelet like that just with a, like just the pendant 
and stuff and it looks really cute and I'd buy it for a dollar I'm not gonna sell it no 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 maybe trade maybe trade but you know you know <laughs> uh, but you know I mean it's something that looks really good quality now you're just gonna take that like I said you're gonna actually put the hole through just talking okay you're gonna do that get it through. Now you're going to take it here and decide where you want it to go through. Like make sure it's even and just push and you got And at that point, you know, if you have a safety pin, you can just close it off and you'll have a pin. But if not, you know, you got that. And if you need it to be bigger, you know, you can just stab it more with the safety pin. But I actually just like lit a paper clip on fire and stuck it through there. I don't advise that. I really don't. So don't try that at home. Um, it, besides, that's the reason the dab back of the dead mouse one was dirty. And it looks really like it, it gross. It looks like, like it's burned a little. It's just not pretty. So, because I didn't think it'd go through unless it was on fire. So that was my dumb fault. Um, but yeah, so you know, now it has a hole in it. And you can just string that. I always have some freaking string around. String, stretch cord, string. And, um, yeah. And then, for the people making candy, um, this is about the size of, I approximated three beads, and I put, um, 28, if you count this as three, so 20. Yeah, 25. So there's 25 beads on here. So I just equivalated that as, like, three beads because it looked about like yeah it looked about three beads um in my opinion it worked fine and it fits really well it looks nice so yeah and then you know this one's um gonna be dry soon and then I'll do that and then I'll have multiple bracelets and we'll have tons of fun and maybe sometime I'll like show you you know doing more than that like some if I come with like a crazy design or something, um, you know, let me let me know what you think. Let me know what you think. Woohoo! Um, but yeah, because I'd never seen it done before, and um, I just thought it was really neat and cool to put on candy. So yeah, just you know, give me some feedback on like well, if you thought that, that was a cool idea. Because I'm like sitting here like, well, we throw so many of these freaking things away after we have a water bottle if you're not recycling. And if you are recycling, you know, you don't have to, you can recycle a lot of them, don't get me wrong. But, um, I have them all laid here. In case you're wondering why I keep looking down, I'm just trying to see what they're doing. They're looking quite nice and dry. But anyways, though, yeah, let me know. Thank you for watching. Woo! Now I have to turn the thing off. So, yeah. But yeah, thanks for watching and let me know.